From Henry Cavill's behavior on set to their characters' affectionate portrayals on screen, it begs the question, what will become of the legendary love between a sorceress and a witcher? Anya Chilotra opens up about Henry Cavill's departure from The Witcher. Netflix hit drama follows the exploits of Cavill's Geralt of Rivia as he tries to make his way through a war-torn world. Why look for his former charge, Ciri, the crown princess of Citra? The signatures of the show were Cavill's stoic demeanor, his exciting swordplay along with terrifying monsters, evil nilf guardians, steamy romance scenes, and a whole cast of exciting characters keeps people coming back for more and more The Witcher. But some news rocked the boat. Henry Cavill wouldn't be playing the iconic role anymore, with Aussie actor Liam Hemsworth taking over. Of course, not everyone was happy about the change, especially members of the cast like Anya Chalatra, who plays the sorceress and Geralt's love interest, Yennefer of Vengerberg. To understand the impact this has on the show and Chilotra, let's look at their relationship on and off screen. In the show, Anya Chilotra's Yennefer is introduced as a young disfigured woman with a crooked spine and distorted face, somehow making the beautiful young actress hard to look at. She makes her way to a school for sorcerers after her trials and tribulations at the school, which isn't quite what it seems at first. Her back and face are magically fixed and she's assigned to Nilfgaard to stand with their king. Instead, the rebellious sorceress goes to Eratuza and attends a royal ball where she enchants the king of Vengerberg. After 30 years, Yennefer served different royal families before her path crossed with Geralt of Rivia. They intersect while he's hunting a djinn. That sparks a simmering romance between the two that would continue on and off through the rest of the series. Audiences have fallen for Anya Chilotra and her portrayal of Yennefer almost as much as they've fallen for Cavill. Before she got what has been the role of her lifetime, Anya grew up in Lower Penn, South Staffordshire in England. Being the daughter of an Indian father and a British mother, the actress was always destined to be a stunner. Chilotra started her path down her acting career by spending three years at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Her first roles were on stage, including a production of The Village and Much Ado About Nothing. She didn't get her big break until appearing an episode of the British series Wanderlust in 2018. That was followed by her casting in The Witcher. By all accounts, Anya has enjoyed working with Henry Cavill on the show. I mean, who wouldn't? The man is a hunk and a half. So I'm sure she wasn't happy when the news broke that he would no longer portray the grim monster hunter. What happened? Why would Cavill leave such a big hit show? It had a lot to do with Superman. Let me explain. Henry Cavill's career away from The Witcher was very much tied to his portrayal of the Man of Steel in the DCU. That came into question when the director and creative mind behind the series of comic book films, Zack Snyder, was ousted and James Gunn of Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad fame took over. Rumors abound that Gunn wanted to start over and build his DC cinematic universe from scratch. This put Cavill's ongoing role as Superman in question, but then it was leaked that Gunn might not reset everything, that he might keep Cavill. That initially made the British actor have to make a choice. Would he give up Geralt in favor of Kal El, or would he keep playing the White Wolf of Rivia? Henry Cavill chose Superman, and it's hard to blame him for doing so. Geralt is a great role, but the last son of Krypton? is iconic. On October 30th, 2022, in an Instagram post, he announced that he was leaving the Netflix show. After that announcement, the rumor mills and speculations went into overdrive as people tried to understand what happened. Why couldn't Cavill do both? It's far from unheard of for actors to work on several projects at the same time. The first things that came out were about Henry Cavill's behavior on set. It's important to preface this by saying there is no real evidence of any of these allegations. Well, besides the part about him playing an unhealthy amount of video games. What do I mean by that? In 2022, a transcript from the Do You podcast was released that was laced with several claims about Cavill. It claimed that, influenced by his well-known love for video games and the toxic culture that comes with that community, 
Henry Cavill wasn't very respectful to female crew members of The Witcher. The allegations claimed that he would dismiss female writers or argue against female directors' decisions. They also accused him of using game bro language and altogether making the filming of the show difficult. People weren't buying that Cavill, an actor with a stellar reputation on every project he's ever worked on, was for some reason a jerk on The Witcher. What is more likely is that Cavill, who has confirmed that he is a gigantic fan of not only The Witcher games, but the Andrei Sapkowski books that games are based on, butted heads with the show's writers who reportedly don't like the source material. People have speculated that his decision to leave came from said writers and showrunners plans to deviate wildly from games and books. In season 4 and every other season going forward. For proof of how much of a problem that is, look no further than season 2. Critics and fans weren't all that into the second run of the Netflix show most cited how much it departed from the source material. There were new story arcs and villains whose sources and motivations were wholly created by the writers. That's in comparison to the first season, which stuck closer to the video games. This has led to fans demanding that a new team of writers is brought in. So maybe Henry Cavill can be lured back, considering what happened with Henry Cavill and James Gunn, that is a real possibility. While originally thought to be returning as Superman in Gunn's new DCU, the British actor was gutted when he learned that instead Gunn wanted to have a younger call out. Someone who the cinematic universe could grow with. As handsome and charming as Cavill is, he can't quite pass as a high school or college age Clark Kent. It seems to be the consensus that Henry's exit from The Witcher is due to creative differences, not his behavior on set. Especially since none of the cast and crew have backed up these claims. Especially not Anya Chalotra, who has had nothing but great things to say about Henry Cavill. When speaking to Entertainment Weekly about her co-star leaving, she had this to say, All we knew were the feelings that we have when any season comes to an end. It's full of pride and love and accomplishment for what we've done. So we stayed in that moment rather than anything else. The news was, yeah, hard to take because he's such a crucial part of the show and we all adore him. So we're going to miss him a lot. I wish him the best. There's further evidence that Anya Chalotra and Henry Cavill not only liked working together, but creatively they were very much on the same page about a lot of things. One instance was when the showrunners wanted to have a sex scene between Yennefer and Geralt, both actors joined forces when they went to the directors and writers and protested against it. To them, the two characters' relationship wasn't so much sexual as it was a strong affection for each other. In some ways, they thought including the scene would ruin the special bond audiences got to witness on their TVs, and their joint effort worked as the planned scene was scrubbed from the show. Henry Cavill has even come forward and complained that Anya Chalotra's Yennefer doesn't get enough screen time. For an actor whose whole career depends on screen time to suggest that someone else should get more at the expense of his, that's true generosity. He must really enjoy working with her. It must be hard losing a co-star who is so understanding and such a vital part of a project. So when asked about his departure, there was no point in holding back. Anya Chalotra opens up about Henry Cavill's departure from The Witcher.